In this video I'm going to go over Rocket League shots that will make your mind blown. Going from 10th from the least hardest to the first of the hardest, I'll go over shots that look really impressive to do and is really difficult as well. But two more things before I actually get into the video. I've got a shorts channel that a lot of people don't know about. This is where I upload my clips you won't see and it's like freestyle setups that are new, it's clips I hit in game and all sorts of stuff like that. It's in the description and in the comment section so make sure to go there and sub and put notification bells on for that. Number 10 is the inverted Muri reset. This is when you do a normal Muri reset but you do it the other way around and you flip the other direction. You need to be a lot lower down on the ball and it's not extremely hard to do, it just looks quite impressive. This is probably the least impressive of, on the list by far, but there's not too much else to say about this except it just looks really cool and creative and it's not too difficult to do, so you could learn this as well. The next one's actually one in training. This shot is one that I've been wanting to hit forever and I have hit it a lot in training now, I'm trying to get consistent at it. And it's when you go off the post into a jacksy pop. Normally on jacksy pops you don't get a reset from it and you have to get like a flip reset to actually get the reset. But on this shot you get the reset beforehand and it also looks really cool as well. The hardest thing about this shot is getting the jacksy pop. Because getting a jacksy pop alone is really difficult. But getting it from the post position where you have to boost a lot into the ball, it, you have to get the exactly perfect position to actually get the ball in a good position for you to air roll in. So this shot is just so hard, if you've tried it you'll know, but just getting the pop itself is so difficult. <laughs> Number 8 is the Psycho. This is where you do a musty and you Psycho the ball from the other side of the field. This is when you do like a wall read on steroids, it's like getting an insane read, getting insane speed as well. It's just, it looks impossible to do for people who can't do freestyle that well or in competitive. Because the amount of mechanics you need to be able to go to the other side of the field, get the powerful musty of really good height on it, then get a perfect wall read, then get it into position to go in the goal. There's so many different steps for it, it's just so hard to do. And I recommend you try this shot, I've got tutorials on it. And it's actually a lot harder than you think it would be. It just looks so easy sometimes, but it's such a hard shot to do. Especially when it's no bounce shots, it just makes you think like, what is reality now? The next one is a plan B to side ball. This is when you get a plan B, what's a pogo underneath the ball. Then you get a side ball read from that. And sometimes you keep the reset and carry on air dribbling the musty than whatever. But this shot is so hard because it's hard to control your car after the plan B. It's impossible to do the side ball. To get enough speed and power from the plan B to do it as well is just really difficult. I recommend you try this shot like all of these in the list because you can just realise how hard it actually is. How hard it is to control your car and actually get the read, get the ball speed and height as well. It's just a lot harder than you think and it just blows your mind sometimes how people do this multiple times in one shot. The next shot in this list is an air dribble to pinch and what I mean by this is doing an air dribble off the back wall then pinching the ball on the wall but without the reset. You can do this going to ceiling then doing it but that's just really hard. I did have an idea to do a Fetalix jump into an air dribble into a pinch on the side wall and I would do that, but I'm just not that consistent at the Vetalix jump itself, so it's just going to take forever. But this shot is actually really impressive, and when the pinch is really fast directly into the goal, it just blows my mind, because it's just so hard to do, getting the air dribbles really clean. Especially in competitive, this shot is just another level. I was trying to get it for ages. A couple times the opponent saved it whilst it was flying in. So getting the shot from the opponents, not saving it, and also the mechanics you need to actually do it. Cooks a pinch is without a pitch is a cooks a pinch without the pinch is completely different to a normal one. 
So this requires a lot of new mechanics you might not know just from playing the game. So this is just such a hard shot to do and it blows my mind sometimes. The next shot is a sideways dribble. This is when you dribble on top of your car but you're on the side of your car. This requires a lot of mechanics that you won't learn at all just playing the game or doing freestyle shots. So this is a mechanic you need to com learn completely different. And this is actually such a difficult shot as well. Like you can't really tell until you actually try it because it just requires loads of mechanics you've never learned before and you probably will never learn as well. With this shot you can't actually steer to one side, you can only steer to one side and you can't really slow down as well. When you're in your car normally you can just brake or whatever, but this you can only go forwards at a certain speed. So you need the ball completely on the top of your car, not going any faster, it's just impossible sometimes. Before I go into the number one shots, make sure to like and sub to the channel, helps me out a lot, and sub to my shorts channel in the description below. And let's get on to number one now. Number one on this list is a post to Jaxi Pop. This is when you do a Jaxi Pop on the post itself. And this is actually so, so difficult to do. When I was trying to hit the shot, it took me like 100 tries to even get the pop. And after the pop, you need an air dribble, then you need a musty. And you actually keep the reset as well from the other post. This is a shot that I thought of ages ago. And it's actually such a cool shot when you think of it, because you go off one post, you get the reset, jacksy pop in the other. But there's a difference between it being cool and how hard this is. Like this will never be a shot you can do in an actual match because the boost management is impossible. Even this in a private match for tourney like the Pulse tourneys, this shot is so, so inconsistent that you just can't do it. And I've been trying to get consistent at it, but it's just every like 50 tries you get one attempt of the post, of the pop itself. Then you need to air dribble it in, you need to keep the ball up, what's really difficult, insane mechanics to keep the ball up. Just everything about that is just so hard. Because the ball rolls up the post differently than it does roll up on the wall. It's completely different to actually get the pop. Like your car needs to be quite low down on the post. So when the ball rolls up the post it comes off a lot earlier than it would on the wall. So if you do it on the wall it's a lot easier. That's my idea from the post to max up, no post to jacksy pop one. It's just a lot easier to do. There's not too much else to say for this shot except it's really hard. It blows my mind how I did this and how other people will do it. And there's, that's the end of the video. Like and sub, put the notification bell on, sub to my shorts channel in the description below. And I'll see you in the future videos, please stay around. Notification bell on as always and I'll see you then.